Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei MatePad T5 and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So at the beginning when you power it on you will be presented with the language selection and as you can see by the default it selects Polish for me here but you can just simply tap on a different language like English for instance which I will use and then progress on by tapping on next. Uh, now considering this is a LTE version there is also a Wi-Fi version of the same tablet. Um, so. If you have the Wi-Fi, you won't see this screen at all, but you can insert a SIM card, considering this is an LTE, or you can just skip it and do that later on anyway, and there will be no difference between it. So in terms of service, top on I agree. Again, let's go next. Um, user experience improvement project, you can join or, or not. I'm just gonna select later. You have to agree to all anyway here. And then if this device was Previously, let's say, uh, hard reset it with the Google account, you'll need to connect to some kind of network. Uh, if not, you can skip it if you don't want to. I'm actually gonna connect to it. Yeah, so let's stop on next. And once you connect to network it will start looking for updates and stuff like that and then i'll give you also an option to log into the google so you can immediately start using play store so we can sign into google or you can skip it as you can see if you want to sign in but let's say you don't have an account you can always create one as you can see right here so i'm just gonna skip it on more and accept and then you can either copy data from previous device as you can see from the iPhone Android or the cloud or set up as new which I'm gonna set up as new then you have the Huawei ID which once you log into it you have access to a couple of their preloaded apps that are on the device I'm just gonna simply skip it and you see the apps that you will not be able to use without the account here we have the cloud gallery app, which gallery app is the basically app store, uh, themes and a couple other things. So yeah, just gonna skip it anyway. And uh, data transfer, again, you can select where you want to transfer the data from if you have any. I'm gonna skip that again, okay. Then cloud, you can enable cloud to basically store data on the cloud for what, on the Huawei cloud. Or you can select not now to store whatever you, let's say you take photos of other or stuff like that on the device. Then device protection, you can set up two different ways of uh, protecting your device, which one is face unlock, the other one is password. I'm just gonna set up for password for this, this example. And as you can see, uh, by default it's set to six digit pin, but you can also change unlock method. And you have option for the four digit, custom pin, pattern, or password. I'm actually gonna choose pattern, so then you get to draw the pattern and then you get to repeat the same pattern again and then tap on done. Now if you chose any kind of password or pattern, you basically have to repeat the same password or pattern or pin twice. Okay, so let's tap on skip. I don't want to face, face ID and we're basically done. So let's tap on get started. And now we have access to the home screen. And if I now lock the device, we'll see that there is the pattern that I have set that will be always required to actually gain access to the tablet. So that is basically how you would go through the setup process of this device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.